Hi everybody and welcome to Jokmuk again. I'm sorry for the delayed video. We have had a really busy week. The snow finally arrived. Enough snow arrived so we can start doing uh, dodge sled tours. So now this season has started with the tours. And tomorrow Matti start out with uh, tomorrow Monday. Matti start on out on the first uh, four day tour. So it's lots of preparation for that. And we have also been a visit to the vet again with Klaas. So this would be like a week we so this would be like a week of vlog and you're just gonna see how this week has been for us. So just let's go. Now we are at the veterinary station in Gällivare, Jurelakarna, and we're going to x-ray the leg of uh, Klaus. So now Klaus have been into x-ray and they have checked the leg how it's going how it's healing and uh, they have given him a shot with calming down medicine so he's very very calm almost sleeping right now and it looks so terrible because this remind us about how it looks when the dogs are put to sleep when they die but he's fine hopefully fine with the leg we'll hear that soon we just get the information about this leg and it looks good are we happy Yay! <laughs> a new checkup after three weeks again to see how it looks then. But today it looks fine. It's three weeks ago since the surgery, so it's not so long time. So now we're going back to the car and heading to Kiruna and getting a sled.
that's a sea eagle. They have a yellow nose and a white tail. driving for almost 10 hours yeah, haven't been driving for 10 hours yes six Not constantly nine hours <laughs> nine hours <clears throat> anyway we are tired now we're a little bit tired this was the reason why we went to Kirina we, we bought the new sled, a huge one, super nice, we hope, we hope, it's a little bit different than the other sleds we have had. So now it's time for a Skype meeting online with, uh, um, I don't know what you say, Lance Studiosen and another company about the permission to make tours in the national parks. So this is also part of the work as a nature guide. You had to ask for permission to go into national park and that's time for us to do that now. So coffee, some yogurt, and my computer. So what I'm doing now is that I'm shoveling away the snow here and I'm going to put a lavu up here, a tipi. But it's quite hard to shoveling all this snow. It's a little bit ice layer in the snow, so yeah, this keeps me busy for a while.
I need music. That's very good motivation. But it switch off all the time, so I had to start the whole thing. Here we go. Yeah, let's do the work. Now I cut it. Hopefully, I cut it not too much. <laughs> I will have to cut this again. But how much? Let's take a chance. Gloves is still up in the tent, of course. Yeah, let's go. So, tip is done. It's late in the evening, and now I'm heading back home and probably helping Stina feeding the dog. So now we have one team there, one team here, and we're preparing for bringing out eight person. Yeah, eight Germans, I think. On a tour. <laughs> it's always a little bit stressful because now we had to put out 24 dogs and dress up eight person. It's still a small quite small group but here's Mickey and Millie Mickey and Millie hello how are you hey you're happy <laughs> they don't know that they are on a working camp <laughs> Enoch, Enoch, Isaac, Cindy, 
Nissan, Felia, Nana, Homi, Fili, Sophia. Ja, vi mattes till. Vi kus! Kus, kus! Vi kus! Right now we have to focus on putting all the dogs out and taking care of the people. And maybe feel more on the trail. There's lots of preparation for dog sled tours. Now I'm uh, loading a sled with reindeer skins and stakeouts for the dogs for Matti's four day tour. And going taking out a team of dogs to train and at the same time leave this at the TP camp that Matti has set up today. It's 10 to 7 in the evening and yeah maybe we're ready with everything feeding the dogs and stuff I would guess around 12 tonight of course everything has to be ready tomorrow when the guests arrive <laughs> 